Papua. In the lobby of a commercial building in West Jerusalem, Papua New Guinean delegates watch on a big screen as the official opening is beamed live from a small office 12 storeys above them. Papua New Guinea is one of just five countries, including the United States, to open an embassy in the city of Jerusalem. For us to call ourselves Christian, paying respect to God will not be complete without recognizing that Jerusalem is the universal capital of the people and nation of Israel. I think it's fitting that a state and a people so uh, deeply committed to these values uh, do what you just did, that is, open an embassy in Jerusalem, the first Asian Pacific country to do so. Welcome to Jerusalem. It's a diplomatic win for Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, with PNG confirming it will also lend its vote to Israel at the United Nations. But it's a blow for Palestinians who want East Jerusalem as the capital of a future Palestinian state. I think there's a place for coexistence. There's a place for coexistence as it is today. And uh, uh, today, Jerusalem uh, is within the sovereignty of what is the nation of Israel. Prime Minister Marape says the new agreement will strengthen trade and investment for his country and has confirmed Israel is paying for the embassy operations. Critics have labelled it checkbook diplomacy. It's crazy. I was a diplomat for 30 years and never heard the story that the hosting country is paying for the foreign embassy. Israel didn't respond to questions about the financial arrangement. Israel is campaigning for other Asia-Pacific nations to join Papua New Guinea in opening an embassy here in Jerusalem. Fiji has given its commitment, though no date has been slated as yet. Fiji also says it's been offered financial assistance to set up in the contested city. Alison Horn, ABC News, Jerusalem.